<coughs> Welcome in that people. Uh, it's been uh, about a month since I've played this the first time. Uh, so uh, today uh, we're gonna continue where we left off. Fun fact, uh, when I moved to the new computer, lost all my save. But luckily, I've replayed it to get back to the point. I did not want to go through the intro again. So yeah, we'll be starting that off, doing this, that. Come on, loading screen. Oh, thank God. I remember this. Oh one. yes, the wonderful dang da. Watch him, who's it? Oh, okay. The batteries. What batteries even do? Uh, well, we haven't. They power things. But there's a weirdly large abundance of them, which I do f find would be a bit of a conflict to the survival. Uh, it, they just power shit, basically. Mm. Oh, yeah, look at this. Do you think you could jump that? Yeah. I feel like we've had that conversation. I can't. Yeah, we have. I mentioned the fact that there's a chain there, so you could very easily jump to the grab chain. the chain. Then swing across. Alright. There's even like a bit of footing for you to put one of your legs, so you could basically just with one foot jump it. Oh, yeah. I, uh. Weird, uh. I fucking heard something. Alright, yep. Yeah. Open the hatch. Go through here. And turn on the power. And now we got ink people coming through. Wait, I feel like... I think we were a little later in this section. Nah, that doesn't... Uh, I'm trying no, to remember. I think, is that the museum area? Yeah, that's the... Uh, area. No, I think what happened is that we got to the tour area and then there was like technical difficulties happened and we had to stop. Oh, all right. Yeah, that that was it. I'm just trying to remember it. So I honestly, I didn't even really, because of the technical difficulties, I didn't even hear most of the tour shit. So but it's a good thing we're back. Oh, yeah. You know, it took a new PC and me replaying the bit we were at to get back here. Yeah, you want to die. Well then kill yourself. Yeah, man. Huh. Now that's what I call. Uh, well I don't know what you'd call that. Alright, um, since we're on hard mode still, I didn't, no, I did not wuss out and pick normal. Uh, oh, I'm, that's good. Yeah, I don't really feel like betraying that concept. And also, there's a hard mode achievement, and it'd be better if I just get that over with. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I probably... I mean, when I played Bioshock Infinite on my own time, I probably should have. There's a way to skip to 1999 mode. I probably legitimately could have just done that. And uh, then played the first time on PC in 1999 mode. I don't know, but that's more my overconfidence when I play Bioshock Infinite. I, I do not have the same confidence when playing uh, Bioshock 1 and 2. Which might say a lot more about Bioshock 1 and 2 if I'm not really confident enough to play the harder modes. Uh, that kind of sounds like an insult to Infinite. Uh, no. I think it just means that 1 and 2 have more turrets. And turrets and bullshit. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's those uh, splices in 2 that are, uh, that are on the same level as a big daddy. So, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna fight this guy head on so you can see how... Yeah, let's see, let's see how strong you are. Yeah. Okay, strafing. Strafing works! Oh shit, strafing. Yeah. Congratulations. Strafing works. Oh look, here's the crew. Dogman, Bendy Boy, oh, and Angel. 
Yeah, I guess. I'm sorry, but we gotta go through this lore again. I mean, as long as I didn't kill it last time. Yeah. Oh, hi, Joey Drew. I'm Andrew Ryan. I'm Andrew Ryan. After my city fell into the fucking ocean, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna teach kids the value of of Chinese labor. <laughs> Uh, we had a conversation earlier about uh, an animator splicer, or at least I, I had this idea of like, alright, here's how I'd integrate Bendy into Bioshock. Oh yeah, the animated splicer. Yeah. He gets, he, he uses a knife and a paper. Oh yeah. I like that American's waving at us. Aw, oh, he's so nice. Yeah, he's a nice fellow. I don't think I... I guess you won't really use real animators. They'd probably flip you off. That's what happened. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you think you Special. That's our transition to talk about Mr. House, because the- Ah, yeah, that is a very good, um, non to talk about Mr. House. Ah, oh, yeah, you know, Andrew Ryan 2, Joey's Andrew Ryan 3, to, no. Anyways, uh... Is there any more Andrew Ryan-esque characters to put Oh, on? there's fucking hundreds of them. Oh, fuck. I thought it would have been a smaller li list, because the only ones I could note were Mr. House, Joey Drew, and... Well, no, it's just... The other ones aren't... Direct? ...as memorable? Or directly Andrew Ryan-esque? No, I mean, like, the, the, the stereotype of the capitalist man that, that runs everything is... Oh, yeah. Like, a very notable one. Oh yeah, those are kind of the more noble charismatic, or just more notable? Oh. Uh, more notable, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you can hear in the audio, uh, they dubbed over the voice actress to, because they changed the... Oh yeah, look at this. Oh look, it's just, it's, he hanged himself. It's so epic. Yeah, that's a normal editor for you. That's why I don't hire them. No, editors just, just do it themselves. Like, as, like as soon as it happens. Ah. You can't trust them. There is so much evidence that they do not hire the best. Well, no, they do hire the best. They have in. Okay, how about this? Insane. They hire the best. No, the they they hire the best at like like being the friend. But I was thinking like insane but dedicated, like uh, that Sammy Lawrence guy. Ooh, a big bendy adventure. That sounds peachy keen. I can't wait to have an adventure with Bendy. Oh yeah. I'm sure Hobie isn't I'm sure Hobie isn't the twist antagonist of the game. No, he isn't. Alright, no. So if you remember our rules. We're, we're in the final days here, I okay. can tell. People are packing things into boxes. Tools are going missing. You can smell the panic in the air around the studio. But us gent boys, we're just watching for the shadows. We lock the doors. We keep our research going. Minster Grey already gave us a little wink. All, all is well. When one sit, ship sinks, another one leaves the dock. Just these... Well, no, um... Um... Sometimes the entire dock just gets bombed. I just need to keep my ink machine safe in the chaos. 
The key is the many discoveries. How is Carter? Yeah, he's a recurring character in the first game. But yeah, you know, they're hush hushing. They should. I mean, they should get out earlier, if I'm being honest. You know, pack out a little earlier than the animators and actual employees of Jolly Drew Studios. Just seems more time efficient. I mean, makes sense. I don't know. I mean, technically, by like the 40s, Rapture was uh, being. I can't remember if it was being built or was in the early stages. Could jump over to there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cutscene. Let's let's watch this. Aww, look at him. Yeah, he's very cute. I love him. Look at him. He's playing with a toy train. You can literally can't do wrong with a toy train. Look at that. Yes, you can. Well, you can, but I mean, toy trains are all trains are awesome. Okay. Well, no. What if the toy train has like spikes on it and they get thrown at you? Right. Ah. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I promise. I probably should use the other hand. Ah. Look at that I'm face. I won't hurt you. Oh no. Shit. Oh, you made him cry. I didn't know that would happen. I promise. Oh no. I'm so, so sorry. Damn it, Audrey. What's happening to you? Should have tried. You know, this all would have been averted if she used her other hand. Yeah. I, know, I, I don't know how the kills people instantly hand would ever be the natural thing to stick out. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, we had the tutorial. This is, this is an, an unknown ability. I mean, it's early. You used it on multiple people. Yeah. Like, and, and by game design, you use it on bare minimum one person. Who's out there? Oh, yeah, last one. Is that you, Phil? We are not Phil. I told you I'm not opening the door until you bring me my pictures. I drew them. I want them back. I don't know. Uh, um, witty remark. Uh, a Bioshock reference. That's all I got. We gotta find this guy's pictures. Damn, this dude is so... So... Why? He's not opening the door until he gets his pictures. Yeah, you know. Depressing. Yeah, that's life, you know. That's a very fucking weird door. Oh, look. Damn. Damn. I feel like this building is like the... Oh, what's it called? The... The Ship of Theseus? Is that what the ship's called? I mean, you mean the ship where pieces keep getting replaced? Yeah, until it's like a... It looks like a whole different ship. Um, how is this like the ship of pieces? I don't know, because uh, parts keep getting added on to the studio. You know, like all these factories and... Uh, you know, like, it's very abstract, all that. Also a note. I get to read Ooh, it. Yay. That's me. I gotta read it. His eyes are all... His eyes see all... His... No, I, I can do a bad voice. <laughs> oh, Lord. His eyes see all... His claws tear and flash. His whispers turn your mind into dark, unthinkable trash. Listen for the heartbroken drone. The heartbeat drone. Your doom is close at hand. The demon is both beast and lord. His powers are too vast for us to understand. Death is fast. Death is serious. Rainbow has beyond your fear. Oh god. <laughs> I know, I've been... This is good practice for me doing a splice of voice. Oh, I probably should stop doing them unscripted. You need a script. For doing a good splice of voice. No, you just need to do Fetamine. Oh, yeah. Probably that, too. You could have both. Alright, I'm just checking. Well, no, but ideally to get to, like, true spicer levels, you've done so much methamphetamine. Alright. But, like, 
Yeah. Oh, that's ominous. You no longer can reek. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, Linda. Wonderful. Oh. I'm too paranoid to break those. So I'll just keep... Oh, look. Coming in the shadow. Oh. I mean... I don't know, man. I mean, the last uh, talking bad guy I had to deal with offered me cake. So, I don't know. Now I want to talk about Portal. Because it's really good. But I don't know how to cram this into Bendy. Um, these vents take you from one place to another. Like a portal. Speaking of portal, I really want to fuck Wheatley. That guy is hot as shit. I mean, I want to fuck GLaDOS, but... Yeah, you Damn, that's a weird opinion to have. So weird. <laughs> You're all weird. Yeah. Oh, shit! Box physics! Those, that's nope. sometimes hard to do, sometimes easy to do. It's very dependent. It's scripted. It's scripted box physics. Also, I know there's something in the locker. Because look. You get... It's a rubber duck. They just put this at the... Oh, adorable! It is very adorable. Let's read. Let's read on it and save my game. I am very paranoid. All right, yeah, baseball signed by Bubble. Okay, okay. A rubber duck, still dusted with the decay of old soap. May happy washings were com. Fuck. Compan. Companion. Companion. By this yellow friend. Companioned? I have never... Yeah. That's a weird word. I've, I think I've heard that. That is a weird word. It's like... I know what companion means. I've played fucking Fallout. But it's yeah. like... Well, way... I can, no, companion actually means someone that follows you around. I believe the Fallout definition is someone who stands in a doorway. Um, that's not what a companion means. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. Uh... I got, oh, this is a good moment to talk about Bethesda. Whoa, look, it, look it's, oh. the, it's Bendy! I love Bendy! I love Bendy! He's such a good boy! I feel like... It's so oh. fucking slow. That didn't even feel scary. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Fucking doors in these games are so weird. Also... He walks among us. Oh, yeah. yeah this among us? Yeah, whatever. We got a new mechanic that I will oh, have. Oh, yeah, we have hiding. I love hiding. Yay! This will happen randomly. I don't know if... Oh, like Clock Tower. Yeah, like Clock Tower. I've never played Clock Tower. Is it good? You've played Clock Tower? Also, first picture. This is where I get to be paranoid, Dada. Jesus. My oh, wow. I thought you were the meth goblin. This voice actually makes him so much less scary. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's so much more than just fuel. It's a way of life. Also, this guy's talking about... A passion. <laughs> or some shit. I don't know, he's... I guess he also counts as an artist splicer. In the way he's talking. I'm too... You've got to open the locker. Dude, dude, go back, go back. No, no, it's a hide locker, not an open locker. 
Yeah, I knew that was coming too. What like, the fuck? So there's not even any suspense of you having no idea when it's gonna happen. It's a thing where like you see it on the screen that he's coming. That's fucking lame. Uh, you know, I really, uh, I'm I'm too paranoid to uh defend it. I guess. I feel like me being paranoid should end. So yeah, that's what the key cards do. They open those locker things. the field the guy was talking about. Oh yeah, I just realized that. I feel very silly because that, when I, when I first played this, I didn't hear that audio log because I couldn't grab it in time. So anyways, I'm feeling very paranoid. Well don't worry, when the ink demon shows up the screen will flash. <laughs> I mean, I know that, but I'm more scared that I won't be able to find a hiding- Oh wait, there's a hiding spot right there. Okay, you might have a point. Alright. Do you even see him? No, it's more of a symbol that he's coming to you. Like, he's going to show up in the area. Not specifically that he sees you. No, 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 I mean, like, you don't even, like, see him while you're hiding. Well, yeah, because Just... he's heading to the area you're at. And that's why you're hiding, because he doesn't see you yet. No, 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 but, like, normally in a well-designed game with hiding mechanics, you'll program the creature to walk past your hiding spot. And once it's walked past your hiding spot, you don't see it anymore. That's how you know it's safe. Not the fucking color of the frame changes. They've basically done the worst incarnation of this mechanic possible that removes all both immersion and fucking horror from it. Alright. Yeah, sure. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I remember being so fucking lost in this section that. Well, I'm not really scared. Okay, so that's a quick way that will lead from there to there. Ugh. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. I forgot the last of the lyrics, that's the only, uh... Uh, that's the only bit of the song I remember the Splicer singing. Uh... Hmm. Nope, dead end. But well, look! Oh, but you got some coins. That's all that Slugs! Like a... It's it's a slug-based economy. Like a slug terror. <laughs> uh, that's... That's my, uh... It's your new contribution. Yeah, that's... You like slug terror. Yeah, I like it. It was good. I mean, I can't see now. I'm in the point where have I been in this vent before? Type feeling. And I hate that. I can't. I don't know if it because I don't know if it's me or bad game design. If I can't figure out an area. See, um, fine. It, ca it can be. You can pick up. Also, you can pick up those books. By the way. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. Wait, wait, we got we gotta wait for our visual cue. Alright, so uh we got the pictures. So I'm gonna save while you uh um say what you were saying. Oh god, Jimmy Boy's gone quiet. A ghost. 
the demon. Nah, I'm not really on the mood. You cannot hide forever. Yeah, find you, and I will kill. That voice is so unintimidating. Yeah, you know how it is. All right, let's place this guy's fan up. We got bio average Bioshock fan. Average Lisa fan. My and average, average space beautiful fan. Honestly, yeah. We got um Yume Niki fan. Uh -huh. Pretty good, pretty good. And uh Oh yeah, that, oh, that, that average Havella boss. I can't I'm hear that one. I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Fucking ragdoll physics. I love them. But they're so stupid. Alright, uh, alright, you'll go to read the note. Exciting. Yeah. Nobody wants to see my picture. I've worked so hard on them for so long. And they're all my own original work. I'll have to make people look at them. They'll see how talented I am. Oh wait, what if someone looks at them and takes all my precious ideas? No, they can't do that. They're my original characters, mine. Do not steal, do not steal. I don't know, man. You can probably use <laughs> glass. You can make a barrier to separate <laughs> them. Also, that's a nice uh, voice. It, it reminds me of a, a character from Bioshock 2. That, you know, that, that more southern voice, because I, re I remember it most from Bioshock 2 with this one character called... Sinclair, or, uh, well, Sinclair was his last name. His first name was Augustus. So, remember this for me. Pick up flower, look at it, and then run from B. Okay. That's... I'll remember that. Thank you. And then you're like... Is that a... Sorry, well, I think we should probably stop here. Oh, yeah. I'm a... Though... Yeah, I'm a... I was thinking that, too. So, uh... While well, I save like a mad lad, uh, any uh, other words or conversations you um, might have related? Any other, any, uh, to end this off, we'll end this off very simply. Yeah. Um, Bendy um, should have either had a hotter voice in order to attract the simps or actually, a voice. Actually, this they went half half. Actually, this, actually, I've seen the internet. Uh, people find this voice simp worthy. People no, the people find everything simple. Yeah, but you were saying that, and I was I'm like... I'm saying, like, they should have made it more sexy. Like, he should have been voiced by Antonio Banderas. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, not really my list of actors I would have picked for Bendy. Uh, I'm trying to remember if the fucking guy who voiced Andrew Ryan is still alive. I can't remember. But anyways... Alright, here's, here's my ending contribution. Uh, since you did that uh, accent earlier with that note, I'm gonna do my... do an impression of a character with a similar... similar accent. Okay, let me warm up real quick. Augustus Well, well, my very old knight in shining armor, complete with iron horse, Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. That's that's the voice I did. I don't know how that sounds on the other end of the microphone. But yeah. Um now I'm gonna end the video. So remember oh wait, it exits the main met you so I, I still have more time. Remember, kiddos, like, share, subscribles, and maybe one day in fifty years I will get a thousand subscribers. Any last words? Thanks gets to a thousand subscribers he's going to personally assassinate one world leader one when world leader when he gets to 900 subscribers we'll have the vote for which world leader it is and yeah when he gets to a thousand he'll do it yeah definitely all right later amigos